disabilities, but very little about adults on the spectrum. Well, in 1998, they conducted a study looking at life expectancy. And basically, not surprisingly, what they found was life expectancy of adults with autism is comparable, slightly reduced, but comparable to their typical peers. And as individuals got older, that difference diminished. Now, this is the same between men and women, by the way. Women tend to live longer than men, but as, if men get to a certain age, then that difference sort of decreases. So this is actually very good, but it also shows how long individuals are going to require supports and services. So this becomes something of a planning component that we need to understand. We do know that individuals on the spectrum will develop, starting in adolescence, a secondary psychiatric concern two to four times more likely.